Shalom. I am King Josiah, the 16th king of Judah, and the grandson of Manasseh, a king not known for his piety. But do not fret, my tale is not one of defiance against God, but of returning to him. When I assumed the throne at merely eight years old, I inherited a kingdom that had strayed from God's path. The holy temple was in disarray, idols were worshipped, and our people had forgotten the words of the Lord. In the 18th year of my reign, while restoring our holy temple, we stumbled upon the book of the law. As it says in 2 Kings 22 verse 11, when the king heard the words of the book of the law, he tore his robes. My heart was heavy, for I realized how far we had wandered. But despair didn't grip me for long. You see, when you find yourself on a wrong path, the solution isn't to stand idle. It's to turn around and walk back. And that's exactly what I did. I ordered the idols to be removed and the high places to be broken down, the altars of Baal to be destroyed. I implored my people to return to God, to obey His commandments, to once again celebrate the Passover as it hadn't been celebrated for generations. In the midst of all this, I strove to follow the ways of my forefather David, as it's written in 2 Kings 22 verse 2, he did what was right in the eyes of the Lord and followed completely the ways of his father David, not turning aside to the right or to the left. I chose to steadfastly walk the path of righteousness. And you know what? It's never too late to return to the right path. In 2 Kings 23 verse 25, it says, A neither before nor after Josiah was there a king like him who turned to the Lord as he did. It was our great turnaround, from disobedience to loving obedience. And that it's never too late to turn around, to return to God, to restore what's been broken. And know that no matter how far you wander, God's love will always guide you home.